this is the new Insta360 ONE R S. So it can be a 360 camera and it can be a 4K camera. So I will help you decide which one is the perfect action camera for you. Is this the Insta360 ONE R S or is this the GoPro Hero 10? Without further ado, let's get into it. There have been some significant upgrades over the One R. It has now larger batteries, new camera modules, and easier to change the lens from the previous version. It's now upgraded 4K pulse test and a 1 half inch sensor, which is also bigger than the GoPro Hero 10 sensor. It can now offer an active HDR for more improved details in the highlights and shadow that gives you a more vibrant footage with higher dynamic range. Hero 10 can shoot 5.3 60fps, 4K 120, and 2.7K 240fps. With the new 4K boost less of 1RS, you get 4K 60fps, 2.7K 120fps, and 1080p 100fps, and 6K cinematic video without dropping the video. Warner as using the active HDR. For the image quality, Hero 10 can shoot 23 megapixels, while the One R S can shoot 48 megapixels. For you to decide, I will do a side by side comparison between the two cameras. Right now, I'm recording the highest possible resolution between the two cameras. For the GoPro Hero 10, I'm using 5.4K with 60 FPS and super view mode. While for the Insta360 ONE R S, I'm using the ultra wide lens with 4K 60 FPS. So, what do you think between the two? As I've noticed, the GoPro Hero 10 can offer a wider perspective since it has super view option. So the One R S can only shoot an ultra wide. For the Hero 10, I'm using 5.3K with linear mode, and for the Insta360 One R S, I'm using the 4K 30 FPS linear mode. What do you think about the difference between the two? Which one performs better? For the Hero 10, I'm using the natural color and for the Insta360 ONE R S, I'm using the standard color. So, which one is sharper? Let's see. But in terms of sharpness, I prefer the sharpness of the Insta360 ONE R S. For the Insta360 ONE R S, I'm using the audio with wind noise reduction. Hero 10 with raw audio off. Hero 10 with raw audio on. Insta360 with audio enhancement on. Hello, hello, hello. This is the sound of Insta360 ONE R S with wind noise reduction. I tried to compare the audio quality and there's no much difference between the two. Now I'm using 4K 30 FPS for both of the camera and let's see how it performs while on a bike. For stabilizing your thrilling adventures, Insta360 has flow state and GoPro has hyper smooth stabilization. Um, I'm currently on a gravel road and which do you think is more stable among the two cameras? Right now, I'm using super wide. I'm gonna try to ride my bike. See how it performs. So right now I'm still using the gravel road and let's see the shakiness. Which one's more stable? stabilization isn't so clear and both of the camera works fine 
but if you had to pick a winner it would be the one rs because of the 360 mod puts out perfect horizontal leveling and stabilization I would like to thank the sponsor of this video, Artist.io. So if you're wondering where I get my music, I'm using Artist.io. It's all royalty free and you can download any music you want for corporate, for vlogs or anything you need. As you can see, um, they have different size. On RS2, I'm using the case, but for the Hero 10, I'm not using the case because the Insta360 One RS requires to have this case in order to mount on this kind of mount. For the Hero 10, it has wider screen compared to the One RS. The One RS, you can just see half of it while the GoPro Hero 10 has a bigger screen. Unlike the GoPro Hero 10, it has screen at the front so you can see yourself while shooting but for the One RS, it doesn't have a monitor at the front. It's a 360 One RS is bigger than the GoPro Hero 10. Let's compare the buttons. If you want to change the setting for the Hero 10, you just have to click the side of it. Then you can already change the buttons for photo, video, and time lock. In order for you to change the settings for the Insta360 One RS, you just have to click this record button and then you can already change it from HDR mode, uh, photo, video, um, active HDR, time lapse, time shift, slow motion, loop recording. 6K widescreen mode, burst, startups, night, interval, HDR photo, video, yarn. Auto and manual settings, you just have to click this button and then you can already change it. And then if you want to see the photo you've captured, you just have to swipe it here, same as the GoPro Hero 10. If you want to change the lens of the camera for the Hero 10, you just have to click this. And yeah, we're gonna change it here. But for the Insta360 One RS, it's gonna be easier to change it because you just have to click it and then you can already change it here. I love how the GoPro Hero 10 can shoot in higher frame rate and its dual screen design. But if you're looking for a more versatile camera that is not just an action camera but can also do a 360 lens, I will choose the One RS. And so basically, I mount my Insta360 here on my handlebar. That's another way to record you while cycling. If you're not interested in shooting 360 media, then I would say go for a GoPro Hero 10. The One RS can be your 360 camera, it can be your action camera, and it can do whatever you want. And this is another way to shoot using the Insta360 One RS. Right now, I'm holding it directly. And, and it will look like invisible yung stick natin. So, kung nag-wonder kayo kung may nagbibidyo sa akin, wala. It, nagiging invisible lang talaga yung shot natin. I've tested these two cameras at masasabi ko na wala naman sila masyadong pinagkaiba. But, ang um, main selling point itong Insta360 One RS, it, it's not just an action camera. Pag namapasin nyo, nagiging invisible yung pole natin na akala nyo may nagbibidyo sa akin. It's because I'm using the Insta360 lens which you can only do sa 360 lens. So, hindi nyo siya magagawa sa isang normal camera it enables you to shoot yourself in a third person perspective while getting an aerial angle but for the hero 10 you have to hide the stick upgraded na yung lens ng 360 natin meron na siyang 4k boost lens na mas pina improve yung flow state stabilization using the insta360 one or s you can change different lens the one inch sensor the 4K boost lens or the 360 lens. Highly recommend the Insta360 One RS for its price, for its capability, and for its versatility. If you want to purchase this camera, I have the link in the description below. What do you think about this? Comment your thoughts below. Once again, this is Zar, your bike wonder and your content creator, and see you on my next adventure. Bye. Hindi <laughs> po.